Hi there, Robin here from Expert Island, and today we've got some exciting news. It's been a year in the making, but Alto is releasing their TS3 series. Uh, just over the last week, uh, they've now updated their website to feature these products as their new items available. Uh, we have an actual rollout schedule for the product, and in North America, we're looking, well, starting from now, in the next couple of weeks, uh, rolling over into uh, June, July. Uh, so we're looking at the 15 and the 18 as being their primary launch pieces at 2,000 watts of, they like to call it 2,000 watts of peak power output, uh, which is their 1,000 watt D-class power amp. Uh, game changer, just like the actual TS3 series speakers were when they came out last year. Um, most manufacturers over the last 30 plus years have been giving us little increments here and there, you know, 50 watts here, 25 watts there, that kind of thing. Uh, 100 watts has been like the biggest upgrade you would get in a running series of product. They changed it. They went from what they had previous, which was 550, all the way up to 1,000. Just leapfrogged over everything that was going on. Let's just cut to the chase, make it to 1,000 watts. They've done the same thing now with the subwoofer. They've gone from 625 watts all the way to 1,000 watts on the D-Class power amp. Doing a bunch of upgrades along the way to make that system even better to work with their tops. Things they realized uh, with having the actual TS2 series paired off with the TS3 for a year has certainly showed them a lot of things that they can make even better. So what did they do? On the back side is really where it's gonna change. On the back side, when we look at the actual uh, unit, we now have a DSP processor built in to the uh, subwoofer to control the speakers up on top. Uh, and now this is something I did see uh, on Electro Voices ZLX, which I thought was very cool, where you can dial in the speaker that you would have. But in their case, they were putting it on the tops and you would dial in the subwoofer. But in this case, they just gave it to us as a button to pre-select the actual top. Again, putting the money uh, putting the money in the features where the features needed. Uh, if you're somebody who just has tops and you have no intention of getting a subwoofer, uh, why are you paying for these, uh, this technology to be in the speaker you're buying? Uh, so it's a better feature to have in the subwoofer and that's what also did. So it's in the subwoofer. It allows you to uh, control the active crossover for the different type of speaker you are going to put on top. So be it a, a TS-308 or the 312, 310 or 315, your choice of what you would have. And it would automatically kind of control that. Now it works two ways. It's, an, it's a DSP, digital sound processor, but it's active. So this way uh, it will, as the volume increase, decrease, change the overall dynamics of what's going on with the crossover up on top. Uh, it's just holding back at a certain level and allowing so much to go through because, of course, you can set the top as well. So that's what's going on. Pretty straightforward. Very cool stuff. Now, they did change the material of the box and they changed the finish of the box. Uh, so they're going from a plywood type material uh, to a more dense MDF. So now if I was building a house, I'd want to use plywood. But if I'm building a speaker, MDF is by far a nicer choice for density. So, and the idea is to not waste our sound through the box itself, have all that energy go in the direction, all that sound go in the direction we want. Uh, they hung on to important things like the grill because they really banged on. It's a thick grill, it's, a, it's a reinforced, it's solid, it's built really well. Uh, it has no vibration problems to it. So that's a big plus on that. Uh, they changed the handles on it and they went to a routed out handle assembly with reinforcements on the inside and they reinforced the box internally to basically contain all that power inside that box. Um, getting rid of the middle handles is just probably, uh, you know, if you're having vibration issues when you increase the power output of the speaker and you don't want to increase the box size or do a bunch of other things inside, you'd probably just change the handle design. And I think that's probably what's going on here. Um, the finish of the material has changed. I really liked the TS2 finish. Uh, problem was it wasn't very rugged in the sense that uh, it, it, got, it looked dirty. That's probably the best way. It looked dirty, it looked smudged very quickly, and very easily. Uh, so you had to baby it all the time. Didn't mean the box isn't solid. It just meant cosmetically it had that appearance to it. Uh, they've gone to a uh, new finish. So they added the rugged finish to it, and that's just really to uh, make it mark resistant. So it's 
this way you can scuff it up, bang it around, and it'll look good. And even if you did nick the corner on it, a magic marker will make that go away. So that's what they're going for with that finish. And, you know, easy to just Windex, wipe it up, and you're all set for the next show. So that's what's going on with the finish of the product. Now, again, like I said, we take a closer look at that back. That back is where it's all about. Now, yes, they had to upgrade the, the driver in it to do it. They had to upgrade the D-Class power amp to get us some more power on it. But when we look at the actual back of the amp plate, we've got that whole new section up on top. That's what it's all about. So, yes, I am excited to get some. We do have some already on order. Being in North America, we do have to wait about another week and a half for that to come in. But we do have pricing on it. So if you're in Canada, you're at uh, $6.99 for the 15-inch, and you're at $7.99 for the 18-inch. If you're in the United States, you're going to be looking at $4.99 for the 15 inch and $5.99 for the 18 inch. So that's going to be price points as the weight of the actual unit goes. I think they're about an extra five pounds heavier. Uh, it has to do with the material that's being used. That's about it. Same pole mount on top, same uh, dual XLR quarter inch combo jacks in the back. Uh, so none of that's changed. And outside of that, it's just very exciting stuff. So today is May 14th, and uh, like I said, I think we're going to be seeing them in the next week or two, and we'll be able to do a side-by-side -side comparison, no problem, and we'll be able to see what that all sounds like. Um, I have no other expectation than good expectations for this product. So there you go. There's my update for today when it comes to the Alto TS 3 Series subwoofers. Uh, see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.